guys, welcome back. Uh, before I get into talking about some updates and things I want to do, I realize I missed a pretty important part of the setup and that is restricting videos to your website only. So what you want to do is you want to sign into Vimeo and go to the right hand corner and say account settings and you'll land on a page that looks like this. Then you want to go to videos and you want to change the privacy to hide from Vimeo.com and you also want to change this to only sites I choose add a domain you want to take the domain where your your videos are hosted and then for me that's going to be netflixtheme.vimeosync.com and you want to check also apply to all existing videos and also apply to all, all existing videos. Click save. And click save. You can also make some changes so that people can't download your videos and stuff like that. But these are the important ones. This makes it so no one can just view it anywhere on Vimeo and again so that they can't embed it anywhere else except for your own website. And you should only need to do that once. Anytime you upload a new video now it will automatically have these settings. And you can check by just going to your video page. And it looks like this setting hasn't updated. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, but once these videos say private along the top in red, I'll check back in a few minutes and see. You'll know that they are restricted to your website only. So as I mentioned in a previous video, some of the stuff I want to add is allowing people to uh, create coupon codes for their memberships. So say you wanted to give someone a, a 30 minute or a, a 30 day free trial, things like that I will be adding in. Um, I am going to add in a few more customization options for the theme. The ones that are here right now, uh, one thing I didn't go over was the the thumbnail images you can use a portrait view if you want so that videos or video thumbnails here will actually be vertical images rather than horizontal the only thing about this is that you will need to add your own custom portrait images to every single video to do this whereas if you use use landscape you can use the default Vimeo images you also have Facebook, Twitter, and Google links. Um, I'm sure there's many of you that want more than this, so all you need to do is request it on the forum. I'll show you where that is at the end of the video. There is a theme license area. So in order to get automatic theme updates and updates for your video sync memberships, you do need to have an active subscription. The theme is an annual renewal fee, whereas the membership plugin add-on is a monthly membership. And like I said, anytime you guys come across any issues or concerns or want to add something new, if you come here and go to support, there is a forum here and you can see there's errors and bugs, general getting started requested features. So requested features would be things like, hey, I want to add PayPal because right now you do need Stripe to accept payments. PayPal is something many people are going to want, even just a simple PayPal button to sign up for membership. So it all depends on how many people that are actually using the plugin and using the theme want PayPal. You will need an account on the site, which you automatically will if you've purchased either the membership add-on or the Netflix style theme. That way you can actually post in these topics. And once you do, I will be notified, I will see them, and I will go from there. Thanks again, guys, for watching this tutorial, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'm very excited to see some of the websites that come out from it.